Hello everyone, this is another show of Naturalist F. I'm your host, Dr. Ferrante Frazier. I'm a holistic practitioner here out of Savannah, Georgia. And we connected with the All Things Relevant Black Media platform and we're bringing you sound information about how to heal your body naturally without the use of herbs. You don't have to use medicines or remedies or anything like that. So today we're going to further help you understand what some great topics we've been doing it for quite a while now you can go back to the atr media uh platform and actually see some of our uh, shows from before we have a bunch of topics that can help you get rid of your health issue there's no reason that mankind should be suffering especially those who are followers of all things relevant media you know, we have there's a bunch of information up there to help us with all manner of things that is relevant to our life today. And what I focus on is showing people how to correct their health issues. You know, all the things that mankind is suffering from, we don't have to suffer from. You don't have to be Googling up uh, the symptoms of this. You don't have to be Googling what remedy to take or anything like that. All you need to do is follow natural as elf you know you follow us those you won't need to look up no medicine or herb you don't you won't have the symptoms of suffering that you're going through all right so make sure that you learn what we're teaching and we're not only just telling you what to do we're giving you the understanding of why it is important to do those things that you no longer have to suffer. This is where you want to be, people. Think about it. Imagine when you become your own doctor or you just live in such a way that you automatically don't have to worry about getting sick. Wouldn't that be a relief to you when you're watching people around you dying from cancer, dying from heart, heart attacks, dying from all these different degenerative diseases 
and uh, you know um, these uh, uh, you say immuno problems that's um, causing a lot of them to have these sufferings and discomforts in their body those things you don't have to worry about provided you know the way to live right see most people don't know you know they're, they're depending on the medical doctors to medicate them or even teach them about health but the education that the medical people are giving them is no education at all you know if you you never see a commercial come on from a doctor telling you to eat right and live. Well, he might say eat right but he's not telling you how to eat right you know he's not explaining what eating right is some people believe that you know eating uh baked chicken is eating right just because it ain't fried you know some people believe that you know uh, uh eating baked fish is better than uh you know is eating right over uh uh fried fish you know some people believe that macaroni is is better if you just keep if you use vegan mayonnaise you know but the combination of those foods and those food types are still toxic to the human body and will cause the body to suffer you know eating right will be more or less eating when you're in the right state of mind see they don't even tell you about it. your mind got to be right to even eat and then when you're eating you got to be eating in the right combination meaning that the foods that you're eating at that meal must be properly combined suitable to be digested at the same time in other words so they're not telling you what eating right is you know what i mean so you're just sitting there eating I mean, you think that you're eating healthy you think because you're eating this vegan food you eating vegan oreos you know you eating vegan cookies you eating vegan mac and cheese you're eating all this vegan food but it's not still eating right so you're still wondering why am i suffering i can go back to eating fried chicken i, I actually felt better when i was eating you know meat and stuff like that because i'm going to this vegan stuff and i'm suffering i'm suffering but it's not because it's because you're not eating right still you ain't been taught to eat right yeah you you put down you know the crack pipe but you picked up you know the cocaine you saying well i ain't gonna smoke crack i'm just gonna sniff cocaine you know what i mean so you you just you still got a toxic habit you don't know how to properly live without your addiction so the best way to get high is not on no drug it's to live a, a, a harmonious life to shed a bunch of love and be high for life be high for loving people be high for you know joy and bliss that's living in a natural bliss so you don't want to change one habit for another habit even though you know some people make it seem like it's a, a healthy one you know it's not healthy at all you know they're not even teaching you uh the manner of eating like uh, how often should you be eating and you know they tell you to eat three times a day snack in between don't give your stomach no time to rest so what i'm trying to show you is that it's a lot of information out here and it's a lot of people sharing information but you have to be really wide and shift through all this mass of foolishness or errors of consciousness in other words now, we won't even use the word foolishness we'll say errors of consciousness and errors in nutrition and errors in healing these people some of these people have a consciousness thinking that those you know the only way to cure this is to use medication some people believe that the only way to you know to uh get over a headache is to eat a big meal you know <laughs> so it's the it's the state of mind the individuals are in you know and then they share that type of information but if we go to natural hygiene natural hygiene is not on some type of belief system it it actually looks at nature and its requirements and its principles it don't go with a man observation except for the observing nature in its naturalist sense in other words you know how even does the animals if we look at our topic today is which is living matter cures itself and i'm going to be uh doing this study from human life as philosophies and laws by dr Her herbert shelton but if we go to the uh chapter three in there it talks about living matter cures itself and if you see 
my shirt I got on today said that you know my daughter made this one about how the body is able to heal itself and it tell you about all the principles that the man have to dig into to allow his organism to heal he needs sunlight water and all that stuff so all that stuff is what his body is made of and if that's what your body is made of you got to make sure that your body is getting it daily if you want to keep your body made up your body falls apart degenerates suffer uh, you know have um deficiencies when you're not properly bringing the requirements or the means towards health in your day-to-day -day life but our chapter is talking about living matter cures itself and it starts off letting you know that the power of cure is inherent in the living matter now a lot of people don't understand what i'm saying when i say living matter cures itself so when we say the body is a self-healing organism well this is matter it's physical matter all this whole body of mind is physical matter and what i've come to know and what he's teaching in this chapter is that every organ um cell and tissue in this organism because i am organism this body you are organism now why are you an organism because you are a collective body of organs and systems so that's what an organism is your collective body of organs and systems now each organ each system is made up of organs like you got the cardiovascular system you got all these different organs and pathways that create this this circulatory system you got the respiratory system all these different systems are made up of different organs and tissues and stuff and each one of those organs and tissues is made up of cells so we go from you know the organism is a community of cells that are for the common wealth of each other so it's a it's a common goal that all these they have banded together all these different cells in our body are banded together for one reason which is to give us life optimum health and endurance and all this good stuff we get this experience all right so this body is a bunch of organisms that's working together to allow us as spiritual beings to be able to experience this physical life that we're in all we have to do this this body is 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 its own thing it's doing its own thing it's it's processes going on in it without you even having to do anything you don't have to do anything and this body is got blood flowing around it it got it's getting rid of waste out of the tissues the heart is beating you're not having to tell your heart to beat you're not telling your kidneys to filter out uric crystals and other crystals out of your blood these these are processes that the body is undertaking on its own you know the brain is the uh the the uh the head of this thing that's keeping the nervous system sending signals to all the other organs and tissues as some type of melodrama it's like the the brain is the conductor you know and it's doing the little you know thing and all the other uh cells and tissues and stuff are different you know uh it's like a big orchestra and, and they in there when they are in tune together you got the best sound coming from the orchestra you know this is sympathy and it sounds so magnificent when all the organs and tissues are properly under the conductor which is the brain and the nervous system all right now when any of this is out of line you can tell you know imagine if you was at a a, a, a sympathy and you were listening to the, the you know this great music and one of the string instruments um, is not playing properly you can tell when it's out of tune and you can tell when it's not playing in alignment with the rest of them because it make a distinctive sound that just don't sound right so you can tell it's out of line or you can tell if the drums are are, are making some different noises than what it's supposed to. it's not on a chord it's, it's beating differently and out of tune with the rest of the instruments and stuff it's not it's not a good sound and this is the same thing that's going on with the human body when we notice that you know uh organs and tissues have been destroyed or they've been abused or weak then they're not aligned or tuned with 
the human body so we're not in this this health we're not in this state of sound health so we're out of alignment and we start feeling and hearing different things that are just not right you know the the bass drum ain't sounding right you know the the string instruments are just not sounding right you know and if the conductor is out of line then it destroys you know it, it, it instead of playing Beethoven is playing, you know, some other stuff. <laughs> you know, it's, it's playing something totally different. Might have some Michael Jackson being played, you know, beat it <laughs> instead of some good <laughs> Beethoven music. So uh, that's when you're out of that right state of mind. You know, when if if you're out of the state of mind, then your body can be in all type of you know uh, a bad situation. So brain health is just as important as anything. We're going to talk about that in just a minute as well. That's going to be a topic that we're going to be uh, discussing. And then we're going to bring in our great friend that we were talking in on with yes, uh, last week and let him share his week with us and tell us more about the good things that he do and keeping his body healthy and maybe able to, uh, you know, stimulate a lot of my viewers into living a hygienic lifestyle too you'll know you know you can get away from thinking hey if i eat fruit every day will i die <laughs> you know you see a man ain't dead yet you know um you see that i eat fruit quite often and here it is i haven't fell down dead or anything yet either uh when you stop eating flesh foods and you go away from eating cooked foods or if you fast or something like that you know that you won't die because i'm showing you people who are in this day and time we're not reading out a bible here and about moses fast for 40 days and you, you say well that was moses he did that back in those days you never know what the situation was and i tell you about isaiah and you say well that was isaiah that was him and we talk about muhammad and we talk about all these other uh you know major um um uh, beings that um you know left very um effective uh you say um literature behind to help raise our awareness and keeping us you know uh in in a high state of being we we got people right here today that are overcoming their health issues using the same concepts of fasting eating fresh food you know only washing in clean water or only drinking water and eating uh nothing but vegetables like daniel in the bible you know what i'm saying you got people who are doing that today and but you know a lot of us are unaware of that you know if you don't have a, an awareness that eating fresh fruits and vegetables is ideal for health then why would you even try it and how can you even try a thing that you didn't even know even existed you know you was raised up on oxtails and rice you was raised up on you know the turkey wings and and rice you was raised up on the greens with the bacon in there and the hog mog and all this other so-called stuff you you raised on the fried pork chop and corn and mashed potatoes you know those that's just the way that you was brought up you you didn't know nothing about that you know fruits and vegetables was the the ideal food for uh mankind eating big salads and different things of that nature so you your awareness your state of being is like hey i'm, I'm living like how i've been taught like my mama i've seen all my uncles and cousins you know this is just the way to eat so obviously this is how we supposed to but when somebody come to you talking about, hey, man, you want to have a, a higher level of health and not suffer the diseases that you're seeing your, your parents go through and those uncles that are around you who's eating that food that you think is the ideal food, then you need to learn about fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds and stuff like that, and eating it in the right state of combination. When you're in the right state of mind, you know, eating it in, when you're hungry. That's the first rule of eating only eat when hunger presents itself and a lot of us don't even know what hunger is you know we we we've associated hunger with this all going feeling or something like that but that's neither here that's for a whole nother show because um you know like you said we only got but so limited a time here and we want to make sure that we leave enough time for our brother to come in and tell us some good stuff because we had to cut him short but we'll be bringing him in quite often letting him share you know his valuable information you know, it's a, it's a great brother, man. I love his energy and everything about him. The words that he be teaching, man, it sound, I hear myself a lot in there. So 
it's like it resonates with me so much. And I, I just love to hear him speak because even things that I'm missing, I see him professing it and confessing it out and teaching even me myself some things that are beneficial or things that I forgot. It comes back up and say, oh, I remember that, you know, and that I can share with some of my clients as well. Say, uh, thanks for the information, sir. Hey, no problem. If you have any questions up here, uh, leave something and um, we'll, if you post it, we can most likely answer it now. It's no reason that you have to be suffering. Talk about it. You know, don't put away your pride. You know, if there's an issue, why sit there and suffer in it when there's the answer right here on our show? We can provide it for you. You don't even have to come in our office and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars when we're right here coming into your house on the ATR of Black Media uh, uh, platform. You know, we're, we're on uh, uh, Facebook and you can find us on YouTube streaming live every Tuesday. So we're right here available for you right now. All you have to do is do, 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 do. I'm having this issue. What could I do? Let's talk about it. What are you doing now? What are you eating? What are you drinking? How your lifestyle is? This, 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 this. We'll pinpoint where you're wasting your energy. We'll pinpoint what's poisoning you. We'll see what's in your environment that is 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 not is not life supportive. Show you how to get rid of it. If it's an addictive thing, we'll find ways of getting you off the addiction. You know, it's all, it's all about setting yourself up for success. Even if you're unwilling to give up your addiction right now, at least put yourself in a situation or surround yourself with people who have overcome it and only put yourself around people who don't want it in their life and you'll notice that you will be like the birds of a feather flock birds of a feather flock together so you'll be come into that state of mind that energy will surround you and release you from that addiction that you're suffering with but let's get back to the the uh living matter cures itself if we look at the first thing that he talks about is that the living organism is adequate to the cure of all this curable disorders if if the disorder is curable the body knows the best way route and and process to restore itself back to health if if anything is broken in the body if anything is is disrupted in the body the body has the innate wisdom within itself every cell has the wisdom in itself which is the dna and the power to restructure itself and to put out the functions that it need to put out and how to function so within every cell is information innate I mean inner power and wisdom to do whatever it wish to do heal itself create more of itself whatever it don't need any prompter it does it according to the amount of energy it has on hand and the materials that it have on hand now it can't a cell can't repair itself if there's no material there and it can't repair itself if there's no energy to repair itself so it must have energy and it must have the nutrition or the the um you say the materials in which to repair itself that's just like for example a house can't build its own self especially when if it don't have no worker and it don't have we can ask our friend you know he, he fixed a lot of houses around here you know i can ask him hey can you build a house if you never if you don't have no material he's going to say no that's crazy why would i even attempt to build a house if i have no material in which to build a house i can have the land cleared off i can have a bunch of uh brick masons and roofers and framers and all type of stuff but if there's no material then no house is going to be built they're not going to fashion the house out of thin air you know so uh and then at the same time i can ask them hey well what if i supplied you with all the material but no workers and he don't have no workers and all we have is a cleared land with a bunch of wood roofing material nails hammers and plumbing stuff electrical wires all type of stuff that is needed to build this house into immaculate house but i have nail worker to come in there and bam one nail i ain't got one to bam one nail 
there's nothing that's going to be built. The house can't make it build itself. And neither can the workmen build a house without the material. So both of them is necessary into bringing about a house. We need the energy, which is the workforce, and we need materials, all right, which are the substances of what the house is made from. So that's the same thing with the cells. The cells need the function and they need the materials in which to keep themselves, to, first of all, to keep themselves going and then to regrow new cells in the process that we keep this vibrance and this newness and youthfulness in our life. But the reason why we grow old and, and die and suffer and our bodies, you know, degenerate is because our body don't have the energy or the materials in which to regenerate itself. So yes, we grow old, we die, we suffer, but we can stay youthful and keep our energies high and, and never have to worry about our organs and tissues failing on us because why? They're going to always be renewed. But the Bible tells us that there can be no uh, renewing without first purification of the blood. It can be no, purif no uh, regeneration without first purification. You can't regenerate your body when the blood of that body is toxic. Remember, we talk about in, in holistic health that toxemia is the cause of, it was the only disease there is which is caused by innervation and innervation is the result of overuse abuse not living the uh according to the principles of natural hygiene and we squander away all our vitality and then our organs are no longer able to filter our body of, of waste because they have no energy to do so and so the waste build up in our body and start irritating the body into inflammation start having ulceration, start having to build tumors and other cysts, and, and it, it, it bears down on our body and our cells and tissue. And then we suffer and we die, you know. So, but the thing about it is, if there's enough energy, those cells and tissues can regenerate. And those organs that have been destroyed can come back to life, provided that we restore energy back to those cells and tissue and we purify we got to first purify that boy and uh but that's restoring energy back to the body so we got to get rest and we got to only drink water and we got to conserve as much energy as we possibly can and every day the more energy we conserve the more work of healing and restoration the body can build a little bit it might can only hire one um uh, worker this week but next week it can hire two more workers provided that you can serve your energy and and get plenty of rest so it can conserve its energy you can hire three the third week and you can hire four the fourth week so the more you time you give and allowing your body to heal and rest and you supplying it with the right material then you're getting work done you're getting progress so the issue that you were suffering with now you you, you had a, a organ or tissue that was operating at really low because it had no function and it was degenerated to like 30 percent of usage now you back up to 50 because you had enough time to let it heal you had enough time to let it repair you know you've been feeding it the right stuff you've been letting energy come back to it but the thing about it when we're under the medical people we don't give it time to heal because first of all we don't know about giving uh restoring energy and we haven't changed our diet we go to the uh the hospitals they're giving us toxic food in those places they seem to be you know according to them healthy food <laughs> that stuff is not healthy if you look at it, it's the same food that you get out here they have they have wendy's and 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 uh burger king and mcdonald's inside the the hospital the mo the, the food that we know is toxic and, and 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 terrible but they're actually in the cafeterias and stuff like that they're frying chicken the same thing that they're saying that is you know we know the cause high blood pressure and heart attacks and stuff is the main thing that they're selling and giving to the people but nevertheless we also see that it's a pieces of bones this is what Dr. Shelton saying here, pieces of bone have been taken from freshly killed animals and fed with fresh blood with the result that they selected from the blood the elements necessary to building a new bone and rejected the rest. So they took the bones in an experiment of dead animals and um, that were freshly killed. These was brand new animals that were freshly killed and took the bones of them and fed it some fr uh, fresh blood and those bones 
took what it needed to heal and repair themselves. You know, we see that bones heal themselves. That's something that we know that the medical man can't do. You go to the hospital with broken bone, he, the doctor can't fix those bones. Now he can set it. You know, that's all he can do is to set the bone now, but he still had to wait on the powers of life to mend them bones together. So this is activity of the body. This is living matter, healing and mending and curing its own fractures and, and broken parts and stuff like that. All of us witness a little scrape on us or, or a wound on our skin that, you know, we didn't have to use anything and it gets scabbed up. And next thing you know, the scab fall off and we see a little little bright spot there and then eventually that thing is blended back like it's never been there before now that's what you call living matter cures and heals itself you know we see even animals that are you know um um uh who um usually um can have um, a centipede get cut into a hundred pieces and here it is each one of those centipedes are, are grow into a whole fully uh a centipede uh same thing with the millipede you have a, a snail can have his tail cut off and he'll grow a whole nother tail. You have, uh, you know, the, the um, tentacles of, 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 of this. Um, oh, that's the snail, the tentacle. But uh, lizard, you cut the tail off a lizard. You're cutting a tail off a, a snail. But uh, you cut the uh, tail off a lizard and you can either grow a, a whole nother tail and you can you can cut the tentacles off the uh, turtle and you'll know that on the snail and you'll see that it'll grow uh tentacles and all uh so living matter has the ability to heal itself now you you can't cut the leg off of a human body and expect a whole nother leg to grow because the, in in higher beings it's more complexity there and uh what's his name what the guy name is um darwin darwin got this thing what he called uh reparative power which is common or in higher or lower degree according to uh, the animal if it's a, a lower animal they can heal and repair themselves like that because it's not complex but the a leg is so complex with all the intricate uh things that uh is in the human body the human body is one of the most intricate um you know um, um organism so it can't like grow whole body parts uh, once it, you know, once it's out of his mother's womb, it's been in there growing it for nine months, you know. Uh, but here it is. It well, now according to you know certain spirituality, that might they might disagree with me. You know what I mean? And I can understand that as well. But for the most part, you know, under our uh, way of of, of of this generation in time, you know, lower animals they heal and repair real real rapidly according to their simplicity. Ours is more complex, so uh, it takes a little more power and, and skill to get things back running properly. Um, we don't even have to have an aid of a practitioner and our body heal itself. The power of the living organism to reject and eliminate all waste, useless and injurious substances. That in itself shows you that living matter cures itself because it even reject and uh, anything that is harmful. This is the power of rejection. It's a lot of powers that we talk about in hygiene, which is the law of the being. You know, these laws, they are inherent inside of us and they act. They're always in action. As a matter of fact, the body is the thing that's always acting. And we're going to uh, see that. I'm not going to be able to uh, bring in that um next topic but we're going to definitely talk about this next topic which is the brain uh disorders and why uh how a lot of us are affected from our um you know brain damage and stuff and how our brain do get damaged because at the end of the day most likely all of us are suffering with some toxicity and you know brain damage or even our mental you know the biology of belief or the physiology of belief which one I'm meaning that, you know, our thought patterns and our feelings create our behavior. And we behave also from the condition of our actual organ. You know, our computer is the software. And then our, uh, which is the physiology of belief. And then we have the biology of belief, which is the actual looking at the hardware, you know. Um, 
So here it is. We see that, you know, when the uh, hardware is not acting right, we suffer. And when our mental thoughts are not acting right, we suffer just as well. So we're going to uh, talk about that in another show about how to uh, have a sound mind and brain, which is the body. So this is what you call holistic health, sound body and mind. You can't have one without the other. You can't have good thoughts and a, a toxic brain. You're still not going to have activity to do that sound thinking. You know, you see people in the stages of Alzheimer's or dementia. They can be some bright people, but once dementia sets in, which is a brain damage, then they have no, no access to that good information that they once had. And the same thing, if a person who can have a, a healthy brain, but if they don't have no type of proper thoughts and, and uh, education and wisdom in that brain or software, then it's, it's just as useless, you know, uh, having a good brain. So um, we'll talk about that in a, a later show. I know that's a topic that a lot of y'all might be very interested in, and we're going to be talking about that. I'm seeing if we have our uh, friend online, we can bring him into the show now. If he's into the, sh if he's backstage, we're going to bring him in. If he's not, we'll continuously uh, talk on our topics and get you to understand. And if you have any questions, feel free to um, put it in our uh, comment list. Uh, even if you want to say, "Hey, man." Like uh, the person came up there saying that they love the information. We love to hear that type of stuff and let us know that you're sharing this information with all your families and friends and letting them know that healing is possible if we're willing to modify our lifestyle, change our, you know, environmental condition. You know, that's where it really comes at. You know, we can sit here and, and uh, you know, uh, take our medications. We can continuously get the treatments. We can keep looking for cures when really there is no cure. There is no such thing as a cure. The only thing that is going to cure your body is obedience to the principles of nature. When you start eating properly, when you start drinking properly, when you start getting rest, staying away from toxicities, toxic people, keeping the will to live, keeping emotional poise in your life because emotional distress will squander away your energy real rapidly making sure you're getting plenty of rest and sleep keeping your temperatures in check you know keeping cleanliness making sure you breathe fresh air and getting an adequate amount of sunlight as long as you're getting those things in your life you would notice that your health will be you know immaculate you won't be suffering from the issues that mankind is suffering from because they are suffering because they're not eating the right food at the right time under the right condition in the right state of mind they're not getting the rest they're staying up they don't buku energy drinks they own the uh, um the five hour energy drink they own all these other energy drinks that keep them stimulated they own the teas coffee and different stimulating drinks that doesn't allow them to sleep we own different drugs that keep us awake all the drugs that put us to sleep is the ones that are wasting our energy to the point where we are not out food don't give us energy we see that at thanksgiving where most people are are in a food coma and then they don't wake up fully rested they wake up as if they're still droggy groggy and drowsy so it's not like they wake up fully refreshed from indulging in our habits those things that knock us out you know, so it's about getting quality sleep that we can generate huge amounts of energy. That's hiring many workers to build your home. The more energy you can serve and the more energy that you have on hand will allow your body to repair faster. If you look at children, children are high vitality. They have way more energy than older people. And that's why they body heal rapidly. Their body heals faster because they have the energy to heal quicker. All right. They have the energy to heal quicker. And we usually notice that the kids don't eat like we eat. Most of the kids tend to, you know, eat more fruits. They eat more fruits before they even go after some of the other stuff. The, the younger kids, they love it if you give it to them. They'll prefer it. 
But now if you keep giving them the other stuff and the ones who love eating the other stuff, you notice that they have more issues. They'd be obese. They'd be suffering with health issues that uh, that the old people are suffering from. You have them young ones now having cancers and lupus and, and, and a bunch of breathing asthma problems and all type of other blood issues and diabetes at, at remarkably young ages. All because, you know, we're we, 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 we squandering away their energy with these new lifestyle. You know, they're not getting rest. They're up all night on games. The the uh, binge watching Netflix and other uh, television shows that they, you know, they can look at the whole 10 season in, in one or two days. Now, you don't have to wait to uh, the Cosby come on next week. You can sit down there and look at the whole set of Cosby's in, in three hours, in, in three days. So you don't get up. You just sit there, eat, and watch TV. Yeah. So all these things is really much producing a lot of our issues until we learn to have self-control. Self-control is going to be the key to us, you know, uh, really having the best health that we can possibly get. Obviously, our um, friend must be didn't make it up here with us on this show um so um we I, I don't see him coming in just yet but um we'll definitely have him up here maybe next week there's a lot of um you know storms going on in our area and all too um even um i think they say in tornadoes we heard tornadoes and we heard a bunch of you know sirens going off and different things like that but we are still bringing this information to you you know what's for us is for us you know, uh, but we want to definitely uh, tell you to uh, make sure that you raise your energy levels. That's that's the most important thing uh, for you to do if you want to be healthy. Raise your energy level, and I'm telling you how to do it. If you all, if you just get your paper and pen and write this stuff down, people, and you don't have to come into our office. All right, trying to save you some money, trying to save you some ailments, some hurt all that crying it ain't even premature death you know and i'm, I'm telling you straight up I've, I've watched the people a lot of people who were said to have uh, you know been on the um break of death once they uh um you know put this into their life start changing their lifestyle habits those symptoms that they were suffering from just disappeared out of their life you know what i mean when the doctor gave up on them. I mean, the doctor said, it's nothing else we can do for you, buddy. Go home and die. Get right with your maker. You need to, who you believe in? You need to call on them and tell them you're ready to come home. You know, I laugh about it because this is, the, I, I've seen it, I experienced it, but these people, once they change their, you know, they come to us a lot of the times when there's nothing else medicine can do for them. When all the herbs have failed them. And all the other so-called uh, 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 methodologies have failed them. When the back cracking has has ceased to be of any comfort, when the so-called remedies and all type of stuff have ceased to give them comfort and relief, then when nothing else comes, then they want, hey man, I've tried everything. I hear that a lot. You know, I I hear that concept a lot. I've tried everything, brother. You know, I tried everything. I hope this worked, and then. I'm just sharing this with you now. Most time when they do come to us, they say, well, how long is this going to take? I said, well, how long have you been suffering with it? Man, I've been suffering with this problem for eight years, 10 years, 15, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. And how long did you give your doctor? Man, I've been with this doctor for 20 years. I said, well, it might take me about six months. Six months? You mean I got to eat fruits and vegetables for six months and I got to get rest and drink only water for six months? I ain't going to be able to do that. Six months? Man, you just gave 40 years to this medical doctor drugging you, cutting on you, and all type of other stuff. Yeah, I'm asking for six months. We can't regenerate the body in, 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 in a day or two. They, they want us to heal them like instantane, like laying hands on them, like, you know, with Jesus or something and putting our hands on, hey, be thou healed. <laughs> Think they're going to be healed, you know. I'm working on getting that power. I'm just not there just yet. So, But until then, let us teach you about the fresh air 
in the sunlight. I had to change it from Dr. Frazier to Christ Frazier. You know, if I'm laying hands like that on you, and you instantaneously, or if you, you're grabbing my shirt tail and, and getting rid of your issues and stuff like that, then that's 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 another thing we're gonna be talking about today, you know what I'm saying? But I keep my head in this thing better. But right now it's just in 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 the medical you know more the holistic concept you know uh teaching you away from the medical and away from these uh things that saying that they can cure your body which have been suppressing and palliating your symptom for quite a long time now it's time for us to stop being out of our mind and when i say this i mean in ignorant ignorant not in a, 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 a offensive term but in a way meaning that we just don't have the knowledge we don't have the knowing, you know, Paul in his scripture in the Bible, he said, uh, I, I don't have you to be ignorant. <laughs> I don't want you being ignorant no more. I mean, I don't want to keep you in the dark to this information anymore. You know, it's time for us to be brought into the light of what's really the way to our salvation for health. You know, it's time for us to get out of thinking that we can, you know, continue our bad habits and be healed or not go into the same state of sickness that all the others are going into who eat the way we're eating you know it's, it's lined up for us just as well you know we might not feel the aches and pain today because we're eating the way that we're eating we're eating at these buffets and stuffing ourselves with all manner of meat slops and all type of uh, casserole slops and all type of other so-called delicacies that we put into our bodies and we drink all kinds of fluids along. We wash it down with a big old jug of, uh, uh, what do you call it? That Arnold Palmer, that, uh, tea and lemonade mix, you know? So we're just throwing everything in our human body and thinking that it's, it's being used. I mean, in other words, it's being abuse to our, our organisms and our tissue and we're not properly fueling them. And we're overworking them to we're squandering away what little energy they do have. And this is stopping us from being able to heal properly and stopping us from being able to, you know, regenerate our body to optimum, uh, you say, performance. You wonder why we're not gods anymore. We don't operate like Zeus and Venuses anymore. You know, Apollos and you know, like Apollo and Venus. You know, we're not like God beings anymore. We're frail. We look like a bunch of cartoon characters, <laughs> you know, like, you know, we see on Fat Albert in the game. You know what I mean? All of them got different stuff going on, long necks and lanky, and you got some with the big belly hunched over. You know, we don't look ripped and strong and powerful no more because our lifestyles are, are don't warrant us to do that. You know, we, we limit our self in activity. We limit ourselves in eating properly. We don't get fresh air and sunlight. So we do suffer these issues that are deficiency issues because our body is deficient of fresh air. Our body is deficient of getting proper vitamin D. Man, we think we can get it in the pills and, and the other little potion. It's not happening, people. We think that, you know, even without the sunlight, it's not just vitamin D that we're getting. If it was just vitamin D, you know, our body probably could at least still last a long time because we can get some from the food. But it's not just vitamin D that we get from the sunlight. You know, we also able to uh, uh, assimilate calcium through the rays of the sun. And then the sun has so many other benefits. We're helping, you know, control our uh, hormones in our body, uh, which one of them being melatonin in our pineal gland. We're helping us with sleep in our sleep cycle. And a bunch of other pancreatic uh, hormones, um, you know, give their uh, thoughts and benefits from the sunlight as well. So the sun has so much of a healing power, and it's not really even a healing power. We don't say that these things heal the body. It's just really that you're giving the body what it needs and what it's crying for. And so the body heals itself when the right materials is present. So when the sun comes there, it's not that the sun is healing the body. It's just that the body now has sun available. It's, the, it's like the wood that comes, you know, the plywood that comes to the house ain't building the house. It's just when the wood come there, the workers can then make use of the wood and fashion it into the wall and, and put you up this wall that blocks you from the environmental condition. 
So it's not the materials that are the healer. It's the body. The body is the healer. That's how it's able to cure itself and heal itself and renew itself. So let's never look at anything as being a cure. Stop looking for cures. There are no cures. Uh, 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 um, I think that was Dr. Troll. It's one of them, Dr. No, Tilden. Dr. Tilden. That's the guy. He said there is no cures. You know what I'm saying? So know that there is no cures except for the body curing itself. And the body does so under the right state of being. When I say the right state of being, when you're in the right statue, when you're acting right, when you're living right, that's the right state of being. You're being the right individual. You're being right in your eating. You're being right in your sleeping. You're being right in your exercise. You're being right in your drinking. You're being right in your amount of sunlight. You're being right in your cleanliness. You're being right in the people that you have around you and your relationship. You're being right in how you keep your emotions in balance. You're being right. That's the state of being that you need to be in. Without that state of being, then you suffer. You have the issues and suffering that mankind is, is experiencing in this generation. And since we are so alike these days and eating the same way and we subject it to the same environment, we subject it to the same drinks. You know, just if you go to any McDonald's, all their burgers taste exactly the same. It's uniform at every McDonald's, at every Burger King, at every Wendy's, at every chicken place. All the food is the same with the same ingredients, with the same stuff. So we're eating this all over the world. If you go to the grocery store, I can go to a grocery store, a, a Publix here in in Savannah, Georgia, and go to one in Florida, and they have it set up just the same with the same ingredient, with the same stuff in it. I can go to Kroger's in this area and go to a Kroger's up north somewhere, and I can find the same stuff. So we're eating the same diets. And so that's why we're suffering the same issues everywhere across the land it's a mass pandemic of poisoning going on we are subjected to the same energy drainers just as well so there's a mass weakness going on so not only are we being mass poisoned in our eating habits but we're also being mass drained out of our energy so we're getting all our workers stole from us we're losing workers in which to repair our building energy. And we also neglecting to bring the proper material. So we don't have the right material to build our house. And we're, we're firing all our workers. So how are we going to have a properly built house? Instead of, you know, instead of us using wood and brick to build our house, we're bringing in plastic, styrofoam and stuff like that. And when the, the storm come by and the big bad wolf come through and, you know, we done built this house of straw, <laughs> he come through there, he huffing and puffing. <sighs> and blow your house down. So, yeah, a little cold come through, a little pollen come through, and it, it knocks you off your feet. You can't stand it. Why? That thing have you tore up around here. So the change in weather is the big bad wolf. And your house is the, the condition that you allowed it to get in from your haphazard of eating and your haphazard of living and your environment now comes in and, and it blows on your building. I huff and I puff and I blow your house down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what's going on. It's blowing our houses down. Everybody is getting blown over by the big bad wolf because we haven't properly built our home, this home, this body that we live in. You know what I mean? And that comes because we, again, I'm going to keep saying it to make sure that by now you don't got a paper and pen and wrote it down. That you must have proper energy. Energy is the thing that is going to be the main thing in allowing your body to regenerate. And then you need the materials in which the body will manifest into new tissue cells and organs. And once that happens, you're going to notice 
that your body is going to start feeling so much better. You're building a mansion instead of a shack. You know, that's what you want to build, a mansion. You don't want to build a shack, you know, and make sure that it's proper. We don't want to keep using all this artificial stuff. We, we don't want to keep painting on the outside with our makeups, with our, you know, things to keep our beers uh, black and not gray. You know, we put all that artificial makeup on, or artificial means. We use glasses. We use hearing aids. We use all these artificial things to give us health when we can actually gain it naturally by raising our energy and providing our body with the right stuff to repair those organs that are not working properly. That's what, what we call it natural hygiene because there's a natural way to restore, let the body restore itself where it can be naturally beautiful, naturally seen, naturally hearing. This is the natural ability of the human body to restore itself because it's living matter. It goes on living as long as we allow it to get the right energy and the right material. And that's the last time I'm saying it, y'all. And I want y'all to have a great week. We'll be back next week. We're going to talk more about the brain and how to keep a healthy brain. We're going to bring back Dr. Abeman teaching into our thing. Where, uh, and he's a present day neurologist, psychologist, psychotherapist. The man is amazing when he study about the human brain and how to keep ourselves in proper condition. I thank y'all so much. And hey, I love y'all. Always do. Make sure you share. And, you know, things getting greater for us because we're going to awaken one day where we can eradicate all the suffering mankind suffer from. No more aches and pains. No more tumors. No more any of that stuff. Because we're going to be living righteous or the right state of being <laughs> in our way. So best of health and happiness. And I'll see y'all next week.